I'm Angel. Welcome to my channel. It is another day for another video. So for this video, I'll be sharing with you my current favorites. These are the things that I've been loving for maybe a month or two now. And it is a good mix of fashion, makeup, and skincare products. But before we start, don't be a stranger, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button to be notified for my future videos. With that being said, let's begin. I hope na you don't mind my background since I'm here in the kitchen. Si Mauro kasi tsaka si Eli nasa kwarto natutulog. So I'm going to begin with this product. This is the Wild Argan Oil Body Butter from The Body Shop. And this is how it looks like. Nasa Pilipinas pa lang ako, dry na skin ko. And then, nakarating kami dito, maybe early spring. So, can you imagine gaano pa kalamig nun at kung gaano pa naging dry yung balat ko. I've tried quite a couple of lotions, pero it doesn't work for me. And then, naalala ko na yung The Body Shop, meron silang body butter. So, nagpunta ako sa website nila and... I'm so fortunate dahil at that time, meron silang 50% off sa mga big jar nila. So, when I found that out, kinabukasan, nagpunta agad ako sa mall para bumili nito. Yep. I chose this particularly dahil meron siyang argan oil and we know how moisturizing and hydrating argan oil is. And aside from that, I also like the scent. It's a mix of ilang-ilang and some pagita. I don't know why, but that what it reminds me. If you will smell it directly from the top, medyo matapang yung amoy niya. But once you apply it to your body, nagiging subtle na lang yung amoy niya. Siguro almost a month ko nang ginagamit to. And ito pa lang yung nakokonsume ko. Malayo pa ang mararating nito. This is how it looks like. Focus. 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 Not on my face. Anyway. So, ayan siya. And a little goes a long way. It is really moisturizing. Para sa skin type ko ha, I have really dry skin. I've been loving this one. When I was already at the body shop, naghanap na rin ako ng magandang scrub and I picked this one. This is the Early Harvest Raspberry Body Scrub. I think it's sa saloob. So this has raspberry fruit extract and raspberry seeds. It is slightly scented. To be honest, I'm not really expecting a lot from this product. Kinoa ko lang to because it is on sale. But to my surprise, I enjoyed using this. So it does a great job scrubbing my body. And what I like about this is after kung mag-anlaw, hindi ganun ka dry yung balat ko. Meron kasi ibang body scrub na kapag nag-anlaw ka na, parang nawala na ng moisture yung balat mo. But this one, to my surprise, Kahit after mo nang mag-anlaw, ang kinis at ang lambot ng balat mo. To be honest, this is my second top at nakikita nyo naman na paubos na siya. So, I think I need to get a new one. The only downside for this one is messy siya gamitin. Dahil nga meron siyang fruit extract at saka yung mga seeds. So, pag mag anlaw ka, it goes everywhere. On my case, pag nag-anlaw ako or kahit mag-apply pa lang ako, napupunta siya sa wall. Alam mo yun, nag-drip siya sa wall o di kaya sa shower curtain. But, I don't really mind kahit ganun siya ka messy gamitin because I'm just using this for once or twice a week. And... For me, dahil maganda tong product na to, it's just okay. Next is this one. This is the All Clean Balm from Hamish. Sabi nila na this is in comparison with Vanilla Co. Clean It Zero. I'm not really sure about that since this is my first time using a cleansing balm. This is how it looks like. Sa loob, meron siyang spatula which is hygienic. Because you're not going to use your finger to scoop the products. And here. I think it's sure in the loob. Ito pa lang yung nagagamit ko dahil I don't use this on a daily basis. Hindi naman kasi ako nagme-makeup araw-araw. Pag gantong nag-ayos ako, tsaka ko lang siya ginagamit. I'll just scoop the product and then imamassage ko siya sa dry face. It really does a great job sa pagtanggal, kahit yung waterproof mascara ko, natatanggal niya. So, after mo i-massage at once na-dissolve na yung makeup sa mukha mo, 
nalagyan mo siya ng lang siya ng konting tubig and then magbabago yung consistency niya from clear petroleum jelly like consistency magiging whitish milkish consistency na siya <sighs> nahirapan ako manggitin yun it also has a herbal scent subtle lang naman and I don't really mind that scent siguro ang pinaka nahirapan lang akong gamitin to is sa mata. Pag nagtatanggal ako ng mascara ko, though nare-remove niya yung waterproof mascara, nahihirapan akong anlawan kasi parang dumidikit siya sa mga eyelashes ko. Hindi ko alam, nahihirapan ako kung anlawan and then pagdilat ko, alam mo may mga puti-puti ako nakikita. Ganun. Nahihirapan akong tanggalin. Siguro, I don't know if I am using this correctly. But overall, I really, really enjoy this. So, since I'm not using this on a daily basis, this is what I am using on a daily basis. Pag nag-makeup ako, hagay ngayon, nag ako, I am using this one first, and then after that, I'll be using this. So, nagda-double cleansing ako. This is my favorite cleanser. This is from Laneige. This is the multi-cleanser, mild and thorough cleansing for clear and bright skin. Wow, binasa ko siya lahat. This is my favorite. May kita nyo naman. I've been using this for quite a long time now. Maybe mag-iisang taon na rin. A little goes a long way. Kahit na konting product lang ilagay mo, still nakaka-remove siya ng makeup. Another good thing about this is meron siyang mild exfoliating na ganap. Kasi yung product, meron siyang parang maliliit na beads. Parang salt-like yung beads. A good thing about this is na dissolve siya. Kasi yung iba, yung scrubbing effect niya, na parang hindi siya na dissolve kahit anong scrub mo sa mukha mo. This one, yung parang mga salt. I don't know if that is salt, pero that's how I can compare it to na dissolve siya sa mukha mo. And then, once na nalather mo na lahat, madali siyang tanggalin sa mukha. Madali siyang anlawan. I highly, highly recommend this one. And after that, meron siyang brightening, instant brightening effect. And I really, really like this. Hindi nakaka-dry ng mukha, nakakatanggal ng makeup. What else can I say about this? Now, let's go to yung mga beauty products. Kunti lang rin naman to. Simulan natin with this one. This is from Tarte Cosmetics. Ito yung maliit na blush on lang to. Actually, libre lang to eh. Hindi <laughs> ko mabuksan. In the shade Party. Ito yung eksura niya. Kung makikita nyo from the pan, it is comparison dun sa Everbelena na cream blush ata yun and shade Fig. Parang pareha sila, no? Pero once na snwatch mo siya, iba na yung color niya. This has a pinkish tone. Yung isa parang mauve na mas dark yung tone niya. I really like this kasi hindi ganun kapigmented. And para sa mga beginners na kagaya ko, hindi ka magugulat na pag Pag kahit madami kang ilagay na sa brush mo, and then ilagay mo siya sa mukha mo, hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented. So, para sa akin, mas gusto ko yung ganun. It gives you that natural flush. Para sa akin, bagay siya sa skin tone ko. Next is, for mascara, this is the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara Advanced Film. Oh my God, kung napanood to ni Shiri, matatawa to kasi nagaganto ko. Parang power. This one is in brown color. Meron akong isa na black. Hold on, let me get it for you. May story dito eh. Kasi, hala, di ko makita. Hold on. Ito. Ito yung black. So, ito. Ito lang yung nakita ko. Napunta kami ng Hong Kong last year. Ito lang yung nakita ko. Wala kaming makitang brown. Halos lahat na sasa sa Hong Kong napuntahan ko na ata. I may be exaggerating. Pero halos lahat, wala. Walang brown. etong black lang meron. So, ito, binili ko siya. But, nanook na kami dito sa Canada, dito pa ako nakakita ng brown. Can you imagine that? Dito pa ako nakakita ng brown. And, it says here na it is volume and curl. I'm not really sure about the volume that it gives me. Kasi para sa akin, basta notice ko na it lengthens my eyelashes instead of giving it a volume. And, one thing that I like about this is it is color brown. Very natural lang yung finish niya. Too bad I'm not wearing this. But, kung makikita nyo, lagi ko naman ginagamit ito eh sa mga previous videos ko. Makikita ninyo. Kahit dun sa beauty video ko. 
ilalagay ko sa cards at ilalagay ko rin yung link sa description box. You can check that one out. I used this one. Next, this one is eyelash curler from Shuemura. This is highly, highly, highly rave na eyelash curler and very, very, very expensive na eyelash curler. Siguro it's around 1,000. Can you imagine? More than 1,000. Para lang sa eyelash curler. But, it is worth the hype. Marami na akong natry ng mga eyelash curler but it does not give me that curl that I want. And then, ma-curl man niya, it, the curl doesn't hold. Hindi nagtatagal yung curl ng eyelashes ko. But this one, it fits perfectly sa eye socket ko. Siguro pakita ko sa inyo kasi hindi ko na-curl yung eyelash ko ngayon. Kita niyo ba? I hope nakita niyo. Ito yung walang curl. And then, ito yung may curl. Can you imagine? Kung paano niya na curl. Yung eyelashes ko. Yung eyelashes ko, thin. And then, ganyan. Nakaganyan. Curl ko na rin yung isa kung ano ah. Did you see that? How curl my eyelashes are. And then, pag nilagyan ko pa nito, ah! Very perfect. Moving on, another raved beauty product is this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Everyone ata ni rave to. And really worth the hype. Tingin sure nga, this one is in 10. Be my highlight. 10. Be my highlight. Siguro ito lang yung shade nito. I'm not really sure. Pero nahihirapan akong hanapin to. Just a little backstory. Shopper Smart lang ang nagkikerry ng essence na brand dito sa Canada. And siguro around dito sa place namin, mga 3 na atang shopper marts ang napuntahan ko and this is always sold out. Gumising na lang ako na isang araw, sinurprise ako ni Mauro, nakakita siya nito. Siya pa ang nakakita nito. Malapit sa trabaho niya, merong shopper smart doon at nakakita siya nito. So, may kita niyo naman, napakalaki niya. No, ito yung palad ko. Ayan siya, napakalaki. So, for sure, it will take you a long time bago niyo maubos ng product na to. This will give you a subtle natural glow. But, you can build yung intensity ng highlight niyo, But, not really yung pack na pack na highlight. Parang nakakabulag na highlight. Nope. But again, I really, really enjoy using this one. Next, sa ating lip. This is the Tony Moly Delight Magic Lip Tint. I don't know if meron pang ganto sa Tony Moly. Matagal na sa akin to. Years na. Way back, bago pa ako mag-Thailand. So, mga 4 years ago na. But not this one. Pangatlong pat ko na to. Clear lang siya. And then, apply mo lang siya sa lips mo. And then, yung color na binibigay niya, it varies. Depende sa tao. Kasi sa akin, pinkish ang color niya. Sa ati ko, parang berry. It gives you that shine and color at the same time. And then, yung color, it's very natural. And it complements your skin. The only downside that I don't like about this is since nasa patch siya, kailangan mo i-dip yung daliri mo para i-apply mo siya sa lips mo. And then, nag-stain siya sa daliri. So, kailangan mo paggamit ng tissue para pa muna. So, din ginamit ko tissue. So, nag-stain siya. So, yun lang. What else? So, that is with the beauty product. Now, let's go with the fashion items. Dalawa lang naman to. I don't know why nag-stop yung camera ko. But, if you've been following me sa Instagram... You've already seen this. Yay! I know it is quite dirty. I'm really sorry, but I like na medyo marumi siya. It gives, you know, character to my shoes. But these are Vans Slip-Ons. I'm not really sure about the exact name of this pair. But the reason why I like this is it matches everything. Even if you wear skirt, dress, shorts, jeans. It matches everything. And I really like yung unique color niya. It's not white. It is mint green. And another one is this one. Kung finafollow niyo rin ako sa Instagram, you'll know that I've been rocking this um, cr crossbody sling bag. Ano matag to? Crossbody or sling bag. This one is from Coach. This is a gift from a very dear friend of mine, Dana. Thank you. She's so generous. Ano? Magigift na ang coach bag pa. But I really, really like this. It also complements my every outfit. It gives you that casual vibe. Pagka kinross body mo siya. And it gives you that, you know, a feminine touch kapag ka 
sniling bag mo naman siya. I really like the tan color. And kung makikita nyo na parang ang nipis lang niya. But, surprisingly, it fits a lot of things. Kasha dito yung iPad, kasha dito yung wallet ko, yung camera. A lot, a lot. It also has a pocket here. Oh, may disable pa. And then sa loob, meron lang siyang isang pocket din sa loob. And that's it. Sobrang daling gamitin niya. It complements all of my outfits. So yeah, these are the things that I've been loving for the past few months. Hopefully, na-explain ko siya ng maigi. If you still have any questions, do not hesitate to ask it sa comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know again sa comment section. I would love to do this again. Don't forget to send me some love by liking this video. And that's it. I'll see you on my next one. Bye! I can't stop smelling this. Milky white consistency. Ano ba? Hindi ko ma-pronounce ang consistent taste.